Hey guys, there's actually a lot of new Apple info that you need to know, and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right here. Starting with a dark mode for the iPhone 10 on iOS 11, my mind is blown, I can finally die happy holding the iPhone 10 with dark mode in my hands. I wanted to share that with you right now. All right, now check this out. I've been waiting far too long for a true dark mode on the iPhone 10. yet with Eclipse 10 beta, it's already here. We don't have to wait for Apple to catch up and add it in iOS 12 or whenever it'll be. So this is much better than a smart invert because it doesn't actually reverse your content. A lot of your applications will still look just the same, just have slightly altered colors for toggles. And as you can see, it's definitely a true night mode. So from everything like text messaging. It doesn't reverse your keyboard either like it does in Apple's smart invert. All of your content remains the same. It just adjusts accordingly uh, to get a dark mode. So everywhere where you're used to seeing light, there is no longer. And it's a darker mode. Now with future options, you will be able to disable certain applications where uh, this mode you don't want to have it. Right now there isn't. You don't, you don't really get that option. So with time it will be worked on, adjusted, and there's still some things that don't work properly. A lot of these system UI elements haven't been touched which I wish they would, like in Noctis, uh, that tweak does adjust those, but it, it looks fantastic. I gotta give props to the developer. So I believe his name is Frost on Twitter. Down below, follow him for some updates on this tweak, but I cannot wait to see where this goes as it's adjusted. It doesn't work everywhere right now. In Safari, notes it's not working, but most other areas it is, and it looks stunning. So I do hope for an option for a true dark mode because right now it's a little off black. It's not quite pure black, so it's still using some energy to light those pixels but as we know the organic led display on the iphone 10 it means no energy is used when a true black is displayed on the uh, display so i think with a true black setting on this application, we could get some really intense power savings with this tweak. It's honestly the number one thing I wanted Apple to release the iPhone 10 with, and they didn't. And I'm hoping it'll come in iOS 12, but even on a jailbreak solution, it looks so dang amazing. And the versatility of it, I think it'll save a lot of battery life. I can't wait to use it on my personal iPhone. And there's gonna be another feature coming to the major iOS update that's been hyped for a very long time now next month and it's been confirmed by tim cook himself he was actually talking about it in an interview in reno nevada and what he said he actually talked about the whole controversy between the cpu slowdown on iphones the battery issue and he wanted to reiterate i want to mention this first is that apple was never trying to mislead anybody they weren't fully transparent about the issue but now they are uh, they weren't trying to get you to buy a new iphone by slowing it down they were just trying to keep it alive so you can make calls take pictures in the moment even with degraded performance uh, so they should have been clear about that. He did say that we should have been clear. No duh. I mean, everybody right now thinks that Apple was doing it on purpose to get you to buy a newer phone, but Apple definitely states they were not doing that. So Tim Cook outlines two things that are coming in an update next month. One that we've already heard is that you will be getting more battery options in the settings, possibly in iOS 11.3, whatever it'll be called, but you will be able to see the health of your battery and whether or not your device is being throttled. So whether or not you're getting some downgraded performance due to the battery and now he says that there will be an option in order for you to disable that CPU throttling. So your device won't be slower, but it will likely die faster if you do have a degraded battery. So either way, you should get the battery replaced, but if you don't, you'll have an option of keeping your performance, but having less battery life or vice versa, as it is now basically longer battery life, but less performance. It'll be a little bit slower through daily tasks. So this is a feature that's already joining the increased parental controls, probably coming in 11.3 as well as the whole uh, battery options, being able to see more into the health of your battery. So I'm looking forward to that. It should be a very big update, actually. Now, iOS 11.2.5 Beta 6 was already released, and uh, guess what it fixes? It actually fixes the whole text message crash bug. This is an iPhone 10 that I did this to, and some of my fans apparently started texting me, and it's just completely locked up. Like, there's nothing I can do except restore it to fix it. It's a big issue, and I'm honestly a little surprised that Apple isn't passing patching it right away. Uh, they're just gonna release it in an update. Apple made a statement that next week they'll be releasing iOS 11.2.5 in order to fix this. So if you've been suffering, you, you know, suffer a little bit longer because Apple did not release an immediate patch. They'll be doing it next week and it's been confirmed officially. Aside from fixing the text message bug, iOS 11.2.5 actually prepares your device in order to accept HomePod commands, stuff like that. Also, when you ask uh, to play news, 
they'll actually play a news podcast now from Siri. So there are some little changes in 11.2.5, mostly to prepare it for the HomePod, and we'll expect that next week. So I know a lot of you guys probably want to enjoy the jailbreak that's coming out right now, those cool things you can do with your device, but you can't. So what kind of hope is there for you? And believe it or not, there actually is hope for anyone that's on a newer firmware. Coolstar tweeted this. He said that if you guys are on iOS 11.2.x, so that means 11.2, 11.2.1, 11.2.2, and possibly 11.2.5, I'm not sure, stay there. Basically, if 11.3 comes out, don't update because the patches in the Electra jailbreak on 11.1.2 still work on 11.2. It's just the exploits necessary to make the jailbreak happen aren't there. But in a time, in a couple months, maybe that could come to light. So stay on iOS 11.2.x and you guys might have hope of a jailbreak in the future. I mean, no one can say for sure, but this is coming from a jailbreak developer and you know, there's hope, hopefully. And I would like to be on 11.2 with a jailbreak because it's much more stable. Overall, the battery life, I'd say, is better. But in any case, I'll stay on 11.1.2 for the jailbreak and all the cool stuff I could do regardless. Now, yesterday, I posted a video about getting iPhone 10 features on older devices. And it's honestly great. I love it. And it's only getting better because later today, there will be an update for it. If you guys have installed this one, that will allow you to get a couple new features. First off, the status bar from the iPhone 10 will now be available on older devices. And it looks very good. It's a direct port of the iPhone 10 file, so it'll work just the same if you wanted that orientation. It's a little limited in what it can show, but if you wanted it for the kicks, it will be available later today. Also, the preferences loader is now available. So within settings, there will be a tweak page where you can disable certain aspects of this tweak. If you didn't want the new button controls or whatever, you can change it in there. So some updates to this tweak, and by the way, it'll be called Fluidity now. So instead of Fluid Enabler, it's Fluidity. I like it. I can't wait till you can install it from Cydia, but even now, it's a great tweak. There is a another iPhone 10 clone that's come to market and you can buy right now. The ILAX, what a creative name. This is probably the worst spec iPhone 10 clone that I've seen yet. It's a 1280 by 720 display that is awful for a modern smartphone. There are some bezels up top that are just basically made to look like the iPhone cut out, but there's no display there. It's still an 18.9 display, but it's off. I mean, this is the cheapest of all of the clones that are coming and I've already pre-ordered one. Vanny, I guess, can share it. I'm like, hmm, yeah, I'll get that. Why not? You know, I'm just really curious. This is the fifth one. There already are so many others that are coming to markets, but I'll be showing you guys this one soon, as soon as it arrives. It has a front fingerprint sensor, which the whole point of the iPhone 10 was not to have it, but they brought it back. <laughs> I'll see what it is. I mean, it's Sounds interesting, it intrigues me, it's probably a pile of crap. I'll still show it to you guys. Anyways, another iPhone 10 clone to add to the list. Anyways guys, those are the latest developments on Apple in the last few days. A lot of stuff is happening and it's very exciting when things start moving again. So I'll keep you guys updated on any of the new tweaks coming out, but there is a lot and it's very exciting. So stay tuned guys, peace.